young, fresh, ambitious. My research focuses on Duchenne muscular dystrophy. My research focuses on child maltreatment, children in care and bullying. My research focuses on uh, the external relations of the European Union and its member states. So here we're in the, the Senate room of the university and young doctors often defend their, their PhD here. But what happens after that? Before you become a full professor and maybe one day end up on the wall of this? It's important to involve the future generation of Leiden University. We're also thinking about the next 444 years. Well, academia is changing. There are associations for people up to the PhD and then um, well, there is of course the Jonge Academie and also the KNW and then in between there isn't really anything. The Young Academy fills a gap there. It brings together young scholars from all un over university, which is something that full professors do all the time when they meet in committees and ceremonies, but not so much for young uh, scholars. The most innovative ideas come when different people are working together. Nobody can be an expert or a specialist in absolutely everything. Philosophy could be very important for um, bridge building amongst the faculties. I have a social scientific interest in understanding how other people see and experience and study the world. Everyone is concerned, for example, for uh, data management or about uh, the environment, about the climate change, about the earth or different problems also in the society. I applied for the Young Academy because I would like to bring science to the public. What are we going to do? We have three main areas of focus, interdisciplinary exchange, outreach to society and policy towards young researchers. But our exact plans will be up to the creativity of the members of the, the Young Academy uh, Leiden. I think it's very important for us to communicate what we are doing. So we live in a time where whatever you read on social media has become the truth. I want to make clear to the general public why it is that science is something that we can trust on. For me, the next five years are about learning and listening a lot. The motto of Leiden University is Presidium Levatatis, and that doesn't translate into uh, hiding in an ivory tower. It means a bastion of liberty, and that you also need to uh, speak up then uh, and contribute to society uh, as a whole. Maybe the most important thing about Young Academy Leiden is that we want to do things. I'd like to further develop the ways in which we disseminate our knowledge. Maybe to do some hackathons, or MOOCs or uh, podcasts. Using the hierarchy of the university in a good way and saying we'll use it to create mentorship for younger researchers. So go beyond teaching and go beyond research. We don't just want to be a group of scholars, we want to act together and promote all of these interdisciplinary exchanges. I think that there is also an important place for the newest faculty of the university, which is the Faculty of Governance and Global Affairs in The Hague. I really appreciate the initiative from the university to install the Young Academy Leiden. And it's actually great to see that already some of us have been asked to take part in task forces and committees. My first impression of the group is that it's a very motivated, enthusiastic group of researchers. I really like the group. And we are all young, but we are diverse in many other ways. We come from countries like Argentina, Portugal, Germany. We are diverse, of course, in terms of disciplines. We also have very different personalities in this group. I'm impressed by the other members of the Young Academy Leiden and I'm really much looking forward to uh, work with them and to get to know them better. I think we have a very enthusiastic group of young, interesting scientists. It's a real pleasure to be part of this. <laughs>